How to create an account for SendGrid. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about SendGrid uh, by Twilio and how to sign up, create your account, and basically get started with SendGrid. Now, you would want to go ahead and dive into SendGrid if you are going to be working on your email marketing. Uh, it is a email marketing uh, or an email marketing platform that is going to help you out with many different tools to not lose your customers and at the same time have a lot of things that are going to help you be more productive when it comes to uh, managing your emails and all of those things. So sending emails, receiving emails, uh, and everything in between is going to be uh, provided for you by SendGrid. Now, you can visit their website by just going to SendGrid.com. Now, it is owned by Twilio, so if you have a Twilio account, that would be great. Uh, and we can go to pricing just to let you know exactly uh, how much you would want to pay if you want to get started with SendGrid. Send grid. There you go. So they do offer four different uh, plans or two uh, paid ones with, um, you know, you can actually see the pricing for and then we have the premier one, which is going to be a custom pricing one. So they do offer a free version, which is going to be completely for free forever and you can start right now test things out for yourself which is something that i highly suggest that you do before you sign up to send grid and subscribe just test the waters uh see whether it's going to be worth it or not for you and your team members so just try it out try the free one out and you'll be getting a few things here so one teammate permission uh which is great uh, and other stuff here as well i'm not going to really dive deep into the pricing differences if you, that's what you really want to see, you can just feel free to go to this page here. So just syndgrid.com and pricing. And then we have the essentials and pro plans. Now, those are going to be more, mainly different with the teammates a thing here. The essentials is going to also give you one teammate permission, but the pro version, you, you'll be able to get uh, 1,000 teammates permission uh, and more stuff here as well now the pricing is going to vary depending on the emails per month that you are going to be um, or that you think you'll be sending out so for example if you're going to be sending around 10,000 emails per month uh, it's going to be around $20 per month and here for this one let's just do well I mean the least amount is going to be $50,000 I mean 50,000 emails not dollars uh, 50,000 emails per month for this one and it's going to be for about $90 a month uh, but yeah you can just go ahead to check things out see which one suits you best and go for it now to actually go ahead and uh, start up your signing up process uh, it is uh, pretty straightforward just go to sendgrid.com uh, and click on start for free we can just go ahead and jump into the free plan and then like i said test the pre uh, free plan first see whether it's going to be worth it or not and then feel free to upgrade later on once you're happy with it uh, so once you click on start for free it should show you um your signing up page but for some reason it's not loading for me so i may need to uh, i'm just going to change the browser just so you know it actually works for me and i'll get back to you once i'm in there Okay, great. So like I said, just go to start for free and it's going to take you to the actual signing up process for Twilio. Now, yes, it does say Twilio. Um, why is it not working again? There you go. For some reason, it's just taking too long for me. Uh, but yeah, it does say Twilio because it is pretty much for Twilio, as you can see here, Twilio SendGrid. So when you actually make your Twilio account, it's going to give you access to all of these um, uh, platforms or apps. So you'll be given or taken to the Twilio signing up process. So here in here, you can just go ahead and fill in these uh, information uh, like first name, last name, email address and password. And then you will need to go ahead and actually read the terms of service uh, and the privacy notice just you know to ensure that you agree to all of it. And then just go ahead and click on the check mark after you're done reading them. Uh, and we can just click on continue to go to the next step. Or you can just feel free to sign up with Google, which is going to be even easier for you uh, if you already have that. 
So I'm just going to fill those in uh, and get back to you once I'm uh, done with these informations that I need to fill in. Okay, so once you uh, finish with that section, it's going to go ahead and send a verification email to your, well, email. Uh, and you will need to just paste the code that will be sent to you and click on verify. Now, I need to note a very important thing, especially especially with Twilio. You should take it as, you know, a general advice, but with Twilio especially because they do quite ban a lot of accounts. Uh, if you're going to be signing up, make sure you use your proper uh, email that is actual, actually personal to you. Uh, and not only that, it's going to later on ask you for your phone number, which I'll show you. Uh, and that as well, you will need to go ahead and provide your very own personal phone number. Otherwise, it actually could uh, think of you as a non-legitimate user and is going to ban you right away. And you can't, you can't really have access to the SendGrid platform or other platforms within Twilio. So make sure that you actually access or add your proper email for that. So I just got my code and click on verify. And now they're going to ask us for our phone number and it's going to just take us to the next step automatically. And here we should go ahead and add our uh, phone number. Now, again, like I said, make sure you actually add your uh, personal phone number in this or your, you know, your business phone number it doesn't really matter. What I'm trying to say is not um, a temporary number like I'm about to do uh, because most of the time they're going to actually identify that as not a legitimate number and they're going to just ban you. So just, you know, it's a general advice. Feel free to add your phone number here and just click on send code via SMS. It's going to do that for you and you'll be able to just um, verify it basically. So I'm just going to do this again and uh, I'll meet you after this is done. Okay, great. So now that you have entered your phone number, uh, you will need to verify it via SMS. So they're just going to basically send you a message. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, you can basically uh, move on. Or actually, there's one more step. They're going to give you a code that you need to copy and just keep somewhere safe. This way, if you lose your phone number, if you lose access to your email and phone number, uh, you can just, you know, have access to your account again uh, if you lose it somehow. So just make sure you keep that code in a safe place. Uh, and then you will be welcomed to this uh, tab here. Welcome to SendGrid. This is your information. And now you can use um, uh, your Twilio cred uh, cred credentials. Okay. And then move between products using uh, in-app and navigation. That means, you know, your Twilio comms and Twilio uh, SendGrid and so on. And you can also manage your user settings uh, from uh, the Twilio console. Click on continue. Uh, and in here, you will need to add more stuff about yourself. So you will need to go ahead and add your first name, last name, email, company name, website, uh, the website for the company, the country code and your phone number again. Okay, so or, or I mean, not your phone number this time, it's actually going to be the uh, business phone number. So just make sure you you know, know the difference. So company name, company name, you would just give it the obviously company name. I'm just going to give it test company. And then company website is going to be HTTP, TTPS, and then slash slash. Uh, and I'm just going to go for this one. It's not an actual website, but I'm just going to use it. And then here for the country code, you will also need to enter the phone number for the specific country code that you want to work on. Uh, so I'm just again going to provide a uh, temporary phone number just to show you. And then we can just click on get started. And it's going to take us to the actual send grid and we will be able to use it. And this is pretty much how to sign up to send grid. Now, after that last uh, step, if your information was proper and it's going to be completely fine, you will be logged into your send grid or if it directs you to this page, you will just basically need to log in. So just enter your email, uh, your password, and you'll be able to log in. Uh, but if you're, if they suspect that your activity is a little bit suspicious, uh, they don't like um, your phone number or your email, they may ban you, uh, ban your account. So you may want to go to customer service um, or contact them and let them know that, you know, you're actually a legit customer so they kind of do that a lot just you know for for the safety of yourself that's not a bad thing at the end of the day 
But this is pretty much how to create an account for SendGrid and get started. Just go to SendGrid.com and follow these steps shown in this video and you should be good to go. So with that being said, I hope that you have found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.